Super Saturday here at Palm Beach, of course, means supercars, and we have no shortage of them. Lamborghinis, Porsches, Ferraris, and Ford GTs, including this one right here, a 2022 Allen Mann Edition. This celebrates the very special lightweight edition Ford GT40s that raced at Le Mans back in 1966. Very cool. All right, April, what have you found? Thanks, Rick, but check this out. 1966 Corvette Resto Mod. I mean, this is the best of both worlds. Old school good looks with all of today's modern technology. Now it's got an LS3 540 horsepower, beautiful staggered stance with those custom knockoff wheels. And check out the interior, stunning carbon fiber dash with upgraded seats, more comfortable than your grandpa's recliner. I mean, this is a car you could easily daily drive and look so good doing it. Bob, what do you think? Well, you'd look great in that car, April, but even better in this, a 1933 Pierce Arrow 12 convertible sedan. 12 for the cylinders up front, underneath the kneeling archer, symbolic of Pierce Arrow, 175 horsepower, the top goes down, and four doors means room for all sorts of passengers to enjoy this beautiful ostrich leather interior. Tyler? Very classy, Bob, as usual, but nothing in my opinion beats the elegance of a classic Aston Martin. I mean, look at this 1966 DB6 Vantage with its upgraded inline six under the hood, five-speed manual transmission. You can buy this and channel your inner Sean Connery. Just so much to see. It's gonna get really exciting here in Palm Beach. Check out Barrett-Jackson.com for moments like that and all of the highlights of this weekend here in Palm Beach. Barrett-Jackson.com. Now to the block and the car I selected as representing all of Super Saturday. It's a 1933 Pierce Arrow 12 convertible sedan. Well, they used to talk about the three P's of luxury. It was Packard, Peerless, and of course, Pierce Arrow. And they realized that Pierce Arrows were only built between about 1901 and the late 1930s. And this was at the zenith. Now, of course, the problem was they were still building expensive cars after the Depression, but they were doing it in an absolutely beautiful way. This car was almost an American version of a Rolls Royce. In fact, a lot of people, if they saw this go by, would think that's exactly what they were seeing as it drove by. That 12-cylinder engine, look at that interior. Now, that's a very modern rendition of it, but still beautifully done. And this has been restored to an extremely high level. Well, you talk about the three Ps. Packer came along and built a lower price model, and that's what they had to do to survive. Pierce Arrow did not, and their cars were around $10,000 in the 1930s. Now we're at $200,000, which adjusted for inflation, that's about how much this car would have cost brand new. So obviously in the Depression, people weren't spending that kind of money, and Pierce Arrow folded up, one of the many luxury car companies to go along with Duesenberg. Well, when FDR was inaugurated in 1933, he chose a Pierce Arrow to be his limousine, the car that he drove in the parade where he was inaugurated, because this, once again, was indeed the ultimate of luxury for its day. Now we're closing in on $300,000, and I love the fact that a classic, a 1933 car, beautifully restored, is bringing huge money here at Barrett-Jackson. Well, I would picture seeing this normally on a Concours lawn with ribbons pinned all over it because not only is it a special 12-cylinder Pierce Arrow, but the quality of it, the rest restoration, incredible and sold. $300,000. Vision of elegance and performance for the day. So, convertible and sedan, meaning four doors, are not incompatible terms. 